Look at all them holes up there. Jeez. Bad place to set up. Should have set up over there. <laughs> oh, well. It's what I got now. See what happens. I couldn't have picked a worse spot, could I? Nope. Nothing. Look at those holes. See what happens. right here. It's not bumpy. Not really. Just a little bumping around. Alright. There's a helicopter up there somewhere. He was... Feet. He disappeared. But, uh, that'd be the rescue chopper. I didn't see him pop up on my gaggle. But I think some mornings they do their pre flights, fire everything up, and I think they just lift off the ground for a little bit and set back down. I don't know that for sure, but. I've seen a lot of mornings where they pop up to like three, four hundred feet and then I don't hear no more about them. Anyway. There are two Air Force jets in the area. And, uh, I tried to get out of here early this morning, but I couldn't sleep last night, so I got up about an hour before daylight, but by the time I had my coffee and stuff, anyway, I got off about an hour and a half late this morning, so with 
it's just going to be a short flight anyway. It's way too cold for me to stay up here. My face is froze right now. And a landing down there on that slick, icy grass is going to be rough for me. I just ain't very good at that slick stuff. I ain't very good at it, period, I don't guess. But I manage. I got a 10 mile an hour wind up here. Helicopter flying south. 
So, the city was at my one o'clock, but said he's a thousand feet above me, so I ain't gonna worry about him too much. Anyway, uh, this energy management thing, you need to learn it. But it's, I think for most people, it's a little instinctive if you've done things like, uh, you know, road motorcycles or snowmobiles or stuff like that. You get a little coordinated, but the, the management thing only becomes difficult because we're on a pendulum. Okay? Now, right now, I'm flying around in like little figure eights. Okay? And there's some things I have to be aware of here. Just a moment ago, I flew through my wake, but I was not flying through an area that I had been. I flew close. That air that I had just pushed away from, from me with that prop had moved. And I went right through it, and it caused a boggle. I'm low. No, I'm not doing anything to cause this wing to spin. But, if I had been making a hard turn or something, that right there is kind of what caused the accident that we all saw not long ago. It's things like that that after you've been flying for a long time, you don't think about anymore. And the, uh, the energy management thing. You do need to practice it, but you don't have to go out and do stuff that can cause your wing to collapse in order to practice uh, energy management. That's not necessary at all. If you want to, if you want to learn those things, don't do it by yourself. Go someplace. Go to your instructor, SIV or something. You don't have to go to an SIV to learn how to do that, but at least be around some people that are more knowledgeable about it. It's it's not fun doing it by yourself. Let me fly by this, uh, this wind indicator. My face is absolutely froze. I've only been flying about 10 minutes close to the ground. Yeah, we got almost the due south uh, wind here. I think I'm going to go around and then... Uh, going to land on this side of the road, I think. See how that works out. Downhill a little. Bumpy too. Lots of holes there. This side over here is kind of mushy still. Get a little look at what's going on. This is not going to be too good for me. <laughs> Never is, actually. Wow. It's slick purry. to keep their lines off my helmet. I never manage it. My helmet looks like a Christmas tree. All right.
we got our little flight in. I'm going to pick my wing up so it don't get soaked. And then might take off again. I doubt it. It's getting late. And thermals are going to pop up here pretty quick. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? I ain't no expert at it. But it was a sweet flight. Just very, 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 very cold. All right. So you all have a good one. And we'll see you all later. Bye.